Hello everyone, welcome back to another FS Elite review. This time we are taking a look at FSDG Bremen. Sit back, relax, grab a snack if you want, and let's get right into it. For months, the public has been admiring the development previews as they roll out, and finally, FSDG has released what appears to be one of the most detailed products to date. As any other scenery, this one has its quirks, perks, and lows. From looking at its product page, I find it quite comparable to some recent major releases, especially in terms of heightened level of detail that we have been seeing with the advancements brought with P30 V4. Installing Bremen was straightforward, as you would expect with any FSDG product. My name and serial number were all that was required to set it up. Here's where things get jarring. To begin, I had trouble locating the scenery configurator as it was not added to the start menu. I had to root through the P30 add-on folder to find it and then manually add it to my start, which was quite a nuisance. Similarly, for the documentation, it would be nice to have it under the folder in the start menu as it is easy to find at the very least. The global FSDG configurator is an imperative tool. It enables me to toggle between seasons, static aircraft, so jetways, and terminal interior complexity. The documentation is adequate, packed with all the information you'll be needing. For example, in the documentation, you can find information on changing seasons, as well as installing so jetways the inconvenient way. The so jetways did not come pre-installed with the scenery. I had to download another package from the FSDG website, which installed SOD for all the FSDG sceneries, which I deemed to be quite inefficient in the long run. Updating could also use some work. I have to perform a full clean install in order to get the latest version. I ran into an issue with SOD jetways being misaligned with the updated version. Nothing indicated that I had to download the latest version of SOD jetways, which in the end fixed my issue. But still, this brings back to my first point regarding SOD installation. It is entirely inefficient and quite frankly irritating. After a bumpy start, let's get right into the scenery. Initially loading in, the first thing I notice when glaring out of the cockpit window is how alive this airport feels, being greeted by objects such as bins, fire extinguishers, general airport operations equipment, moving cars, airport vehicles, buses, painted in liveries you'd see at the real airport, and so on. However, during the nighttime and snowy seasons, the moving vehicles have a disgruntling texture that trails along with them at ground level. I can only assume this is a bug. Looking around the ground layout of the airport, FSGG made an incredible effort at replicating the authentic layout, markings, imperfections, the sewers, prevailing dirt as a result of daily operation as well. Upon further examination, I noticed that the ground lines have a slight uneven slash jagged edge that you'd see in the real world. On the air side of the main terminal, there are an abundance of signs and car rental ads which would go miss at first glance. With that, I get a glimpse into the detailed interior with glass that features a light stroke of weathering. The terminal interior, however basic, is shockingly detailed with what it is. It is coated with real-world advertisements and contains objects such as ceiling lighting, boarding gates, and seats, adding quite a lot of immersion. Provided as an option in this configurator, there are some unique static aircraft placed around this airport. Moving over to the land side, I am elegantly surprised with the presence of a moving tram, parked cars, real-world signage, and more authentic advertisements plastered about. Moving north up the street, there are more wonders to be found such as a super accurate rendition of the McDonald's adjacent to the terminal. Another option that is found in the configurator is the snow season. When enabled, Bremen transforms into a winter wonderland. Roofs, taxiways, objects, cars, and virtually everything I can see are covered in a layer of snow. Though it's almost good all round, one thing I've noticed is all custom trees, which were presented before, are no longer there when using the snowy textures, unfortunately making landside look quite a bit more dull and empty. Moving on to a feature I most relish, the terminal night lighting and textures. The airport looks considerably better than some others I've seen around the same price point, especially when it comes to the color accuracy of the dynamic lighting and textures surrounding the terminal. 
Runway and taxiway lighting is completely acceptable, except for the fact that when I look at them from the side, I notice the lights become 2D and invisible. I understand this follows some other methods that are used by other developers, but I find this to be very obvious in this case. Running a moderate system with no overclocks, even with a complex interior option checked, Bremen is no exception when it comes to good performance. Performing spectacularly at night with dynamic lighting, blasting at 40 FPS, and during the day at the airport buzzing with traffic from ULT, I find it can achieve a solid mark of 60 FPS with the occasional stutter here and there. For 21 euros, you get a Northwest German airport that unfortunately has a botched installation, update, and sewed fitting procedure. However, the configurator brings options such as interior complexity, seasonal changes, and a small range of optional content that brings more bang for your buck for the scenery. As I've overly mentioned, there are many alterations to be made when it comes to overall user experience rather than the scenery itself, and that is where Bremen falls down compared to other products for mainstream developers. Whilst may be minor, I'd like to see them made before I justify its price tag. Would I recommend this airport? Yes, absolutely. If you're looking for a break from mainstream city airports or looking to expand your route network, Bremen might just be for you. Overall, Bremen Airport gets a 7.9 score from us out of 10. Thanks again for checking in from another video from us. On behalf of myself and Max, thanks again for joining in. We look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. See ya!